what science communication might be going forward, it would include more of a direct statement of relevance to how we live our lives, to the role that science plays in politics, in the survival of our species. If you look back at the traditional science programming that you might get, you would see a documentary on television, and it would communicate some very important, interesting science, but then that would just be that. You would, it would be like a wiki page made visible in a video medium. And when you're done, it, it's as though you, you learned a little bit more science, but you didn't learn why it mattered. And so I think we both agree that in our lives, uh, one of the most important statements about the relationship of science to our lives, to our culture, to our civilization, was made by Carl Sagan in his 1980 landmark series, Cosmos. Uh, not only did it connect you, the public, emotionally, intellectually, physically, to the moving frontier of science, but it also blended science in such a way you were no longer thinking, oh, I'm learning this science versus that. All science was seamless in the delivery. Yeah. And so I think maybe science education going forward should think less about what chapter of a book is communicated and more about why science matters and how it works and why it can affect the fate of civilization.